Okay, so here we are again with uh, another demo of the Inatech USB-C hub and the Huawei Mate 10 Pro in desktop mode. So you can see here I'm on desktop mode and I've actually got it working at a better resolution now on the screen. It's outputting here and as you can see here and here I've plugged in a full-size keyboard and a mouse. So, that's where the power comes in. We've got the HDMI port there, which feeds to this monitor here. And you can see here the resolution is much better than before. If you right click, I found here, you can click on screen size. You can adjust it uh, to suit. So full screen here. We can also change that backdrop as you saw, change the wallpaper. You can pick any of the pictures that you've got in your phone. So I've got a few apps down here that I like to use. So we've got BBC iPlayer. You can pin these. They have to work in desktop mode. And obviously if they're touch screen only, they're not gonna work. So we've got live European cycling championships, Cuckoo, you can have a look at that. It contains some strong language. You can maybe watch that. It's a good way of watching it directly on here. Internet connection is not too great at the minute, but uh, you can watch that. There you go. We've got Hangouts down here, so I can load up and keep in touch with friends. Same with WhatsApp. That's a fairly good experience. Files, I can browse around my phone. And Chrome is very much intertwined with the phone. So if I try to browse Chrome on my handset now, you'll see that it says exit the app on the large screen. You can't have two running at the same time. So anything you've been browsing on your phone will come up on here. Uh, so now I can literally just use the keyboard as if I'm using any other type of PC. And I can browse to full smartphone and that will come up as you would expect it to come up, just like a regular PC. You can do everything you normally would do. You can go to the BBC News website, all your um, shortcuts and favorites are carried over. Um, there's a fused chicken review that we did this morning I clicked on the wrong link here's the BBC News website as you can see it loads incredibly quickly indeed and that is nice and smooth so we can click on this article here about Timmy Mallet's bike close that window you can see all the tabs along the top here that have got open you can see the bookmarks and then down here we can search for local files and apps. It only lists a certain selection that are going to work on the phone. You can see here I've got the Met Office, LinkedIn. I've got a tiny scanner, I've got WordPress app, so I can write articles on here. I can also go to SoundCloud, Shazam, I've got a clock. So there's only a certain amount of apps that will work on desktop mode, but I can open them up from here. So Spotify, if I want to play some music in the background, that's going to load up. Just give it a few short seconds to load and you can see all of my recent playlists on here and we can just play music in the background so it's a great desktop experience and what I like the most is the fact you can go into gallery here and I can see all of my photos and we'll click on a photo and here's a photo I took last night and I can see it in beautiful full screen on a massive, massive monitor in really high resolution. It's great, and you can you've got all the stuff down here that you'd normally expect in Windows. Obviously, down here, I've showed this on the previous video. You can see what's happening with the phone. You can see little pop ups here. And I can go into Gmail. Let's see if that works actually because the Gmail app, here you go. Gmail app is here. And I can have a look at my recent email, which pops up. On the right hand window here so this is obviously in the um, Android display however let's click on another email you can also have it just in the regular Gmail window if you open Chrome and you just type in gmail.com and you can log in that way and browse as you normally would on a, a normal desktop and you can get your email through there now obviously it's going to say, hey, 
you look like you're on an Android phone. So there you go, you can see here that I can get the emails that I had a moment ago, but actually in a full fat screen. And uh, I must admit, this is really good. Really good little system here. They've done it very well while they have. Um, look at the phone again, so they get the USB plugged in here. That's providing power. This is a power input down here. We've got uh, Ethernet input if you want, VGA input, output rather, HDMI. And then here we've got the two USB ports. And I can, if I wish, put another USB-C device in there. I can put SD cards in there for additional storage. And uh, that, I must admit, is a very good way of using your phone anywhere and having a full desktop experience with a keyboard and a mouse on the Inertec USB-C hub. And uh, this is the Huawei Mate 10 Pro.